Hello and welcome to Little Fishes. It's lovely to have you join us here this morning. Well, today we're looking at the Bible and what a precious book it is and how it helps us to learn about Jesus and how to follow him better. It tells us all about the things that Jesus got up to during his time here on earth, as well as telling us about the story of God's people. And that shows us a lot about Jesus as well. We're going to start by singing a song which is about the story of God's people and how great and faithful God was during those times. The song is called All Through History. <laughs> song. I like that song because in it we sing about all the different stories that we find in the Bible and as we learn the different stories of God's people we see that God is faithful to us through all of those journeys that take place and that he'll be faithful to us in the journeys that we're taking as well. There's loads of different books from the Bible that you can read there's loads of different stories in the Bible and lots of different books cover that as well. A great book is this one. Stories that Jesus told. Fab pictures and great stories coming from the mouth of Jesus. But this particular Bible is one that I love and it's called the Jesus Story Bible. Because every story in the Bible, whether it's from the Old Testament or the New Testament, points to Jesus and that's what they bring out in this Bible. So I've decided to share one of my favourite stories from this Bible with you today. So why don't you grab a cuddly toy to sit and snuggle up with and listen to the story as I read it. This is called The Friend of Little Children. Jesus' friends were arguing who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no, am, not, yes. Oh, this silliness went on and on, and like that for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking that they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. The, that if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, then Jesus would like them best. But they had forgotten something. Something God had been teaching his people all through the years. That no matter how clever you are, and how good you are, or how rich you are, or how nice you are, or how important you are, none of it makes any difference. Because God love is a gift and, as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is that it's free. And you have, all you have to do is to reach out your hands and to take it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact you might say that they were experts, had come to see Jesus. 
Who were they? They are the little children. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. Oh, he's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you'd been there, what do you think? Would you have lined up quietly and quickly to see Jesus? Do you think that Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he gave you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behaviour and get dressed up and not speak until spoken to? Or would you have just done what these children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and then sit you on his lap and listen to your stories and your chats. You see, children loved Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms. And so that's just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and the games, Jesus turned to his helpers and he said, no matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart, full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. Isn't that wonderful that Jesus loves the children? We don't have to do anything special, anything outrageous to earn his love. He loves us just as we are. Well, we're learning about following Jesus and today looking at the Bibles. And I'm going to put a link below this video, which is to a blog that helps you explore different Bibles, versions and different books that are great for children to dive in and find out more about the story of Jesus, more about who it is that we are following. And I hope that you find that helpful. Well, that's it from Little Fishes this week, and we look forward to seeing you here again next week. Goodbye.